Pirates last year staged a series of increasingly bold ambushes with some startling successes, including commandeering a Saudi oil super tanker and a Ukrainian cargo ship carrying more than 30 battle tanks. The Saudi super tanker was released earlier this month after the payment were reported $3 million ransom. The pirates are still holding the Ukrainian cargo ship carrying the deadly weapons said to belong to the Kenyan military. Pirates arrested by the naval forces deployed to curb piracy in the Indian Ocean waters will from now be tried and sentenced to jail in Kenya following the signing of a pact between Kenya and the U.S., according to Prime Minister Raila Laudinga and U.S. Ambassador Michael Ranabaga. When pirates are arrested there in high seas, the issue of how they should be charged becomes a problem. If you arrest them and you take them, for example, to Denmark or to Holland or to any they will say that crime is not a crime in the, those countries because it was not committed within the borders of those particular countries. So we are the ones who have got a stick. We have a U.S. Naval Task Force off the coast which is going to be uh, helping the anti-piracy efforts. We do want to see these people prosecuted. In November, a Kenyan court gave seven-year prison sentences to each of ten Somali pirates captured by the U.S. Navy after hijacking an Indian-based merchant ship. Last week, eight suspected pirates detained by a British warship also appeared before a Kenyan court in Mombasa. The Horn of Africa country has been without a functioning government for nearly two decades, providing a breeding ground for the bands of pirates who have forced several shipping companies to avoid using the busy Gulf of Aden. Naval forces from around the world have responded with warships and surveillance vessels throughout the Gulf of Aden and nearby waters that mark one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. An estimated 20,000 merchant ships use the route that links Asian ports to the Mediterranean through the Suez Canal.